Sleeping with the Enemy is the sixth episode of the third season of Frasier. This is directed by Jeff Melman. And I don't really care for this episode. I think it's messages. And some really good performances as well. The performances with Kate and Frasier are pretty great. Is largely because I don't like Kate. I think I've come to the conclusion I do not care for Kate as a character. I don't care for what she brings to the show. And I don't really find this to be a very funny episode either. So I don't actually have that much to say about it. I will go through the episode and talk about a few things. But my notes are mostly just describing what's happening. I don't have that many thoughts or feelings. I didn't really respond to very much of this episode. I don't remember if I felt the first way uh, or felt this way the first time I watched it. Uh, I might have done. I genuinely can't remember. But watching it now, I just didn't care for it. It starts off quite well. There will be spoilers from now as I discuss what happens. And it starts off pretty decently with Fraser taking a call from a caller. And he gets distracted, wondering what's going on outside. This feeds nicely into the conversation, or lack thereof, with the caller. And then we find out that the off-air talent are not getting a raise. Obviously, that doesn't affect Fraser, but it does affect Roz. And they decide that something has to be done about this. So everybody's gathered at Fraser's apartment, and that was pretty great. I liked seeing a lot of the key characters there. Eddie barked at one point when Bulldog barked at him. We don't often get to hear Eddie barking, so that was that was quite cute. I like that. Martin has some good things to say to help keep things moving in the right direction. But after that point, it just became kind of dull for me. And I didn't find it very interesting. Obviously, when they're talking about something as important as people not getting the raises that they've had year on year on year, and then somebody new comes over, takes over the station, and they decide, well, you're not getting them now. That's an important topic. And I think the episode does a good job of highlighting these potentially important issues. However, as I said, I didn't find it to be very funny. And sometimes I laugh out loud at Fraser all of the way through. Usually I do. But with this one, I just didn't feel any kind of humour at all. And it just becomes a little bit dull after everybody's been in Fraser's apartment. They decide that the off-air talent are going to strike. And if they do, the on-air talent will strike with them. They all go to talk to Kate. But it ultimately ends up just being Fraser talking to Kate. And while I don't like Kate, as I said, I do think the scenes with Fraser and Kate were really well performed. And the movements of the characters were great. There's one point where Kate's leaping on her desk, pretty much, and, and the movement looks brilliant. It's very well filmed as well. So I can definitely praise it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I enjoyed it. They're discussing why there's friction, they're shouting at each other, they're calling each other some pretty creative insults, actually. And then they kiss. And... We do have quite a quite a funny moment, actually, where I this, I did like this, but I didn't laugh out loud, but I liked it, where Fraser says 5%, Kate says 3%, Fraser says 4%, Kate agrees, and they start making out. And then soon after, Fraser comes out of the room and says that she's agreed to 3%. Clearly, his performance in the room had downgraded it to 3%, and then he went back in get well in theory to get them a, a bigger percentage but we all know why he actually went back in there and uh, that's pretty much it I, I don't care for it because mostly because i don't like kate but as i said i just i don't think it's one of the funnier episodes i don't think it's that interesting but it is important so i guess that's a good thing it's not all dull not all boring and there are a couple of good moments as mentioned but in general needless to say sleeping with the enemy is never going to be a personal favourite.